As the Delta variant continues to fuel coronavirus cases around the world, a vaccine alone may not be enough to fight the virus. That's why pharmaceutical companies are speeding up the development of COVID-19 treatments. Chen Minjong tells us more. Vaccinations are crucial in the fight against COVID-19, but just as important are treatments for those hospitalized by the virus. Scientists from Griffith University in Australia have developed a treatment designed to directly attack the virus and tackle any new variants. So we designed our therapeutics to target all the beta coronaviruses. So any coronavirus that pops up, our therapy works against it. The World Health Organization is also leading a global trial, testing three potential candidate treatments. The three drugs, artisanate, imatinib, and infliximab, are already being used to treat other diseases. Artisanate is used to treat severe malaria. Some studies have shown that it increases the survival rate of severe coronavirus patients. Imatinib is a drug taken orally to treat patients with certain cancers. Studies have shown that it is effective against the virus when taken every day for two weeks. And infliximab is used to treat immune system diseases. The trials for these three treatments will be carried out in 52 countries, and experts will assess whether they are effective at reducing COVID-19 mortality. Meanwhile, other pharmaceutical companies like Merck and Pfizer are making oral COVID-19 therapeutics from scratch. They are both in the clinical stages, but say their drugs will reduce hospitalizations and speed up recovery time. Using existing drugs is just like changing the wheels of a car. It might work, but it also might not. However, these medicines are being developed just for COVID-19, so I would say there is a better chance for them to work. South Korea's health authorities are keeping a close eye on the clinical process and hope to secure around $14 million of oral medicine. Meanwhile, local companies are also speeding up their production of treatments, with Celtrion recently winning emergency approval from Indonesia and Brazil. Chemin Dong, Arirang News.